Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Forward Leaks walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look at how to upgrade Kaspersky Endpoint Security to Service Pack 2. Kaspersky has released Service Pack 2 for Endpoint Security in June 2017. So we'll see how we can upgrade it from Kaspersky Security Center itself. So if you look over here, I have Windows 7 machine, which you can see as on MR3, MR4 version of Kaspersky. So we are going to update this machine to Kaspersky Endpoint Security <coughs> SP2. So to do that, what I have already done is um, I've already downloaded Kaspersky Endpoint Security Service Pack 2 uh, from Kaspersky website. I'll definitely put the link in my uh, description from where you can get this. Uh, this is the URL from where you can get Kaspersky uh, Endpoint Security SP2 downloaded. So you can just go over here. Just make sure that you go through with the system requirements before you decide to install it uh, and upgrade it. So if you go over here, you can download um, KS10 Win SP2. Um, you can also download the plugin for SP2 also from here, which I have already downloaded, but I would not need it because my security center is already updated to Kaspersky uh, Security Center latest version. So <clears throat> to start with what we are going to do, And I'm going to unpack it on desktop. Okay, yes, then SP2 folder. And I'll wait for it to get extracted. I'll pause the video and we'll continue once it is extracted. So if you look, my extraction is already completed now. I'll finish it and I'll open Kaspersky Security Center console. I'll go to advanced remote installation and then I'll go to installation packages. I'll create installation package and I'll select create installation package for a Kaspersky lab application. I would probably name it something like Kaspersky endpoint. And then I'll browse to my desktop and I'll select KUD file from that extracted folder. I'm not going to copy the updates from my repository into this package that we'll see later if we need. And we'll click next. And it is just uploading package uh, files to my administration server. And once this is done, you will see my package is available inside Kaspersky Security Center. So any of the settings from here, I'll click next and I'll finish this. And you can see my package is already available over here now. So the next step is to install this package onto endpoint security machine, which is already there. So it's the same way we can uh, do the installation of other packages. So what I'm going to do is I can just right click and say install application or I can run a task on any of the groups and I'll just select the device for the installation and I'm going to run it on Windows workstation machine then I'll apply the license in the settings as default the network agent is already installed so I don't need credentials if you want you can put in credentials that's also good fine now I'll just wait for this installation to complete and I'll pause the video over here and I'll continue once the task is about to complete or task is already completed. So if you look over here the task is already completed and if you go to Windows 7 machine you see that there's a pop-up which we configured during the task creation to restart this machine. So the machine is restarted and if you look over here now we have Kaspersky Endpoint Security which is running over here as Service Pack 2 and if you go back to Kaspersky Security Center the task is completed. 
Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I am talking about.